Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the May 2016 mini reading for the Sagittarius. Okay, so this is going to be a three card spread guys. Um, I'm going to be using the Pagan Tarot deck for this reading. Um, if you want to know more about this deck, you can check it out on my website. Uh, link is in the video description box. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and start shuffling, you guys. I'm going to make this really quick um, for the Sagittarius. Let's look at the past. It's going to be a three-card spread, past, present, future, energies, and events that are still affecting you, how your past is holding you back and not allowing you to move forward, what you need to take from your past and use to your advantage today. Um, these are your present, what's going on right now, the energy of the present moment opportunities and challenges and then also your future um the outcome of the situation the direction that things are seem to be going and what you are wanting and so this is called the manifestation part of it because you know even if your future card is bad it means this is what you want because you manifest every single day of your life um stay tuned for my deviant moon um reading for fear no evil <laughs> see no evil speak no evil hear no evil fear no evil is gonna be the month of may or just starting now okay because you guys really need to um understand how um, addictive that dark energy can be okay all right so i'm just gonna cut and then put my cards over to the side. <clears throat> okay, yep. I'm going to use that card. Past, present, and future. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for your patience. Now, in the past, you did get the high offense. So, Sagittarians, um, I can see that for some of you um, in the past, there was um, some sort of lesson that you had to learn about doing the right thing and those energies are still affecting you and depending on your surrounding cards they may be blocking you or holding you back um, or there may just need to be a message from your past um, I do believe that the Hierophant um, is some sort of spirit guide because this is a major major arcana um, a lot of you Sagittarians had some fear in the past from the awareness of being different and your need to fit in with society. Okay. Everybody's not meant to fit in with what society's standards are. Um, there are some people that judge you very harshly and very unfairly, and they judge you for their own agenda. So Sagittarius, I want you to remember this, that you need to embrace the fact that you are different. And you also need to watch who you hang with because there are some people that will literally um, be on a war path to destroy your life and it will cause you so many issues. It will cause you the feeling that you can't It'll cause you fear. Again, the Hierophant is all about doing the right thing. For some of you, I can see in the past um, some sort of maybe some sex within marriage. Um, some of you may have a younger partner. Maybe you start an affair with a religious person, a priest. Um, this is a really conventional, unadventurous, passionless you know, type of situation for some of you, Sagittarius, is okay? This could be, it doesn't necessarily have to be unadventurous. It can just mean that some of you Sagittarius has just recently got proposed to. So I don't want to say that all Sagittariuses are, you know, had some passionless sex, but, I, you know, I think that maybe there was some issues in the past with an oppressive religious figure. Maybe you were dating someone that was oppressive. You know, or maybe there was an energy from um, there was an energy I 
I'm sorry, guys. I can hear my son. He's in there fussing. So just give me a second while I get that together. All right. So let's focus on the Hierophant being in the past position. Um, in the past, it meant that you learned the lesson that there is value in an ambition from your past. Look to a strength that you may have neglected. So, um, I get the sense that this is for some of you special Sagittarians, um, especially for this card to show up in the past. And um, you need to be able to be different. Okay, you don't need anyone anyone's approval, but you also want... Um, to be rooted because the hierophant again is not a bad figure this is a symbol of education and tradition for some and it just means that a religion a religious or spiritual guide has been guiding you in the past it could totally have a very positive meaning Is that a dog barking? Wow. Okay, so you got the nine of chalices for the present. You got the nine of... Guys, I, I swear, my neighbors, my kids, everybody is like just so on one today. Like I cannot get any peace and quiet. And it's so annoying. And I wish people would just go to sleep or just quit tripping off of whatever they're tripping off of. Real talk. Huh, this is the wish fulfillment card, you guys. <laughs> um, this can mean many possibilities or rewards, all good to choose from. So right now you have got a lot going for yourself, Sagittarius. This is a very positive indicator for you. And for you to get it in the um, present position, your emotional and material well-being are at hand. Look to your friends for advice and support, but recognize that you will find fulfillment. So this is almost fulfillment because it's the nine of chalices. And um, it's also the nine of cups in the traditional tarot. So again, this is the wish card. Um, this shows that um, if you're going if you're going through some sort of issue in your relationship things are going to get better okay um, if you are single you need to get out and meet people um, instead of just wishing for someone like actually go make it happen so you can get the 10 for completion um, because the nine is a good number, but it's not what you're actually looking for, okay? Um, so your final card, um, you did get the three of wands. So um, I'm sensing that there's some sort of um, collaboration. Um, for some of you, this can indicate a love triangulation that has a positive... Um, what do you call that? Positive energy? It's not something that you're unhappy about. Um, it And it also means that you are experiencing some very important success after you've been through some difficulty. So it's really an extremely positive card. Um, the three can be good, but only if your partner is treating you well. You know, this indicates a love triangulation if there's someone else in the picture. So if you're not being treated well, or if you feel like you need to make your position clear, and, you know, that person is not giving you what you want emotionally, physically, materially, whatever, you know, you may just need to move forward. But it's, it's a positive card, though. So what I see for some of you... Um, is actually positive uh, relationships as it was with that three of wands but this is about you having doubts you're searching for something so something within your love life 
you're going to be searching for something. And a lot of times, I don't know why I see people searching for answers on the computer. And that's not a good thing. Okay, you need to follow your heart more so instead of... Um, instead of feeling as though you... Um, it, it's I, I'm sensing that there is a fresh start for some of you in the month of May. Okay, you're, it's going to bring a lot of the, um, if if you bring the fullness of your creativity and inventiveness to the table, the Three of Wands bring good, brings good news. So it's a catch-22 with the three, okay? <laughs> to be honest with you, I mean, this can, this is about positive partnerships, business partnerships, love partnerships. But it just really depends on the individual situation. So again, this card could go either way. Um, I think that's all that I have for you, Sagittarians. If you want a personalized reading, um, go to my website. And I'll see you guys for your full reading. Bye.